you can use two very basic and common ingredients to help make mordant for your textiles that you plan to use with plant dyes. Then maybe you won't be as intimidated by dyeing fabrics as I was when I first started this. So here we go. The mordant I'm making in this video is aluminum acetate. To start the process, we're using baking soda and vinegar to make sodium acetate. And be sure that you're adding the baking soda to the vinegar and not the other way around. Even though I said use four tablespoons, you should really look at it as using up to four tablespoons because if it starts to settle on the bottom, you want to stop adding baking soda. We started out using this little skillet, but I noticed pretty quickly that whatever coating it has on it was preventing it from working. So this was just a little science experiment for my daughter right here. I take this process pretty slowly. I don't pour a lot of the solution into the skillet because in my experience it just starts to boil and then it it just it doesn't form the powder or the crystals like I need it to so I just started adding like a little bit here a little bit there and just moving it around and then it'll eventually crystallize one of the keys is to having the skillet very hot I think the first time I did this, um, maybe more than a year ago, I read somewhere that you just put the liquid in the skillet and then heat it up, and that did not work for me at all. So this is the way that I do it now. Now this is where the formation of the aluminum acetate is going to take place. I'm basically combining the sodium acetate, which I just made, with potassium aluminum sulfate, which is the alum purchased from the seasoning aisle at the store. Okay, and since I read that it's good to combine something like aluminum acetate with um, a high tannin solution, I'm just showing you this tannin liquid that I made by boiling avocado seeds and kukui leaves, which is a plant grown here a lot in Hawaii, or that grows here in Hawaii. And I read that these leaves have a lot of tannin. So combining this with aluminum acetate should give me a good... Uh, mordant for textiles to be dyed with natural dyes. All right, and just showing you how I weighed out a piece of fabric and did a little bit of math to figure out how much of the aluminum acetate I was going to use. So it was about 18 uh, grams, the weight of fabric. And when all my mouth was done, I just ended up using like a third teaspoon of the aluminum acetate. And, you know, you can, you can use, um, you can just kind of estimate this. I read a few sources that said that if you have 100 grams of 
fabric, you should use two to four teaspoons of mordant. So I just divided that down um, and came up with about one third for 18 grams of fabric. So, you know, I wouldn't stress too much about this. Just come up with a basic formula for yourself and, and use that. This piece of fabric stayed in the solution for a couple of hours and that's only because I ended up leaving and then I just dealt with it when I came back. But typically, I would just leave this in mordant for maybe half an hour. You know, I think even 15, 20 minutes might be sufficient. But typically, you know, if I'm kneading the fabric almost immediately, I will just do about half an hour. But Sometimes when I, I'm busy and I put it in, I'll just leave it there for hours and then deal with it when I return. And I'm also giving it a dip in this tannin solution. And same thing, like sometimes I would just leave this here and then come back to it. But for the purpose of this video, I just dipped it in a few times and then squeeze it out and then I'm going to add it to the dye. As I'm watching this, I think that I want to make a stronger dye for um, this fabric. This dye had been used previously for another piece, and I made a, a short just showing how nice of a green color it produced. So it's probably weak at this point. So I may just boil more leaves and make more. So when I first got into dyeing fabrics, I would see a lot of information about mortising um, textiles with a loom and people would just say oh yeah you can just get that from the seasoning out of the store so that's what I did I went and got that um, and as you can see this is potassium aluminum sulfate and that's what I would use and I really didn't know any difference but as I did more research I learned that if you're using cellulose fibers which is primarily what I use that you should really be mortising with aluminum acetate um, not aluminum, aluminum potassium sulfate. And, you know, I would um, do a little bit more research and not find much information about it. Um, but then I found a research article Talking about natural dyes. And in that research article, it was mentioned that they had used aluminum acetate to mordant fabric. So I was like, okay, these people have done some extensive research. So maybe, um, you know, that's what it is. That plus what the other um, people who dye fabrics have been saying online in the various blogs and things. So then I realized, um, yeah, I need to get my hands on that, but I didn't want to buy it because, you know, I was just kind of practicing and, and things of that nature. So I researched how I can make this aluminum acetate. And which is I decided I wanted to make it myself. Research showed me that I can make it by combining sodium acetate and potassium aluminum sulfate, which is this stuff right here. And sodium acetate just made how you saw me make it in the video with vinegar and baking soda. And it's a certain way that you do it, um, which is what I just showed you. And hopefully that was understandable. And so that's what I started doing when I did make, when I did use this, this I just made it myself. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. The main thing is that it can turn out to be like paste and that's not what you want. You want it to be powdery. So what I found was that if I put too much baking soda, so if when the vinegar started to settle, once it uh, fizzled and I could see baking soda at the bottom of the bowl of the pot, then I had used too much baking soda. And in those times, it wouldn't turn out right. So on this video that I did, the measurements that I put up on the screen were like four cups of vinegar, white distilled vinegar, and about four teaspoons 
of baking soda, but I didn't use the full amount of baking soda because I saw that it was starting to settle at the bottom. So I did show you a, a shot of the, the vinegar just clear with nothing at the bottom. So that's what you want to aim for. And then once you get that done and have powder and like sift it if you need to, then you can combine it with this. I just do like 50-50 and then just go, go with that um, and combine it. And then you've got your aluminum acetate to use for more than your fabrics, particularly cellulose fibers. And also combine it with um, a tannin solution, which is what this is back here. This is the avocado pits boiled with kukui leaves which are um, a plant here in Hawaii that we use so so that's pretty much that and and this is the fabric the more the more than tit fabric that I have that I did in the video this is Nalpaka leaf dye which is a nice green color I'm not sure if the video is doing it justice but hopefully it'll get darker in a couple of days and then I can create a short video a YouTube short just showing the result if the fabric is staying in or not um, like once I rinse it and everything like that so we'll see how that goes in a few days and that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions you just post them below and I will respond thank you for watching